Yes, a little bit of a retro game today, everyone. Um, what's going on, everybody? My name is Vladimir CR, and welcome to another one of my favorite, somewhat retro games called Time Splitters 2. Um, one of the first sets of videos that I put up on my channel was actually my playthrough of Time Splitters Future Perfect, and that was on easy difficulty. And I believe I'm going to play through this on easy difficulty as well. Uh, I've already made myself a profile and gone through all that, so we don't even have to worry about that. We're going to go through the story. And we are going to get right into, this is where I am currently, but what I'm going to do is start at the very beginning, in 1990, Siberia. Um, basic plot of Time Splitters 2, very similar to Time Splitters 1. Uh, there are these time crystals that you have to locate uh, to prevent a Time Splitter war, and it's, it's just a fun first-person shooter. Developed by uh, Free Radical, who is also, uh, a lot of the members of that team, that production team, were also... Um, members of the team that made golden eye and things like that rare so see this little cutscene real quick we shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance i'm telling you i heard gunshots they'll kill us if they find out come on coward Light. Like he didn't notice that himself. So some of you may recognize the guy that popped through the portal first. That was actually uh, Sergeant Cortez, the main character of Time Splitters Future Perfect. And in Time Splitters 2, he didn't actually play as himself going through these levels. He actually got put in somebody else's, um, I don't know if you'd say position, or in somebody else's skin, basically. 1990, Oblosk Dam in Siberia. Uh, also, this is being played on an emulator, so if some of the textures are a little screwy or some things kind of don't work too much, I will work on it as I go through um, making these videos. And I'm going to do these one episode at a time, like I did uh, the last time, Splitters, except this time you guys get to hear commentary from me and you get to see my lovely mug. So, I cannot think of this person's name, but they do have individual names. They're all playable characters in the multiplayer. This is our temporal uplink. It kind of shows us a map and a couple other things. Uh, we could also do unarmed, of course. But we are going to go through and we are going to get the silence rifle. And my sensitivity is a little high for this. As you can see, I had just gotten to where I could hit that guy. And my uh, sensitivity is just a little too, yeah, see, touchy for sniping and whatnot sorry i had to concentrate to make those shots it's just part of what i have to do and then there's this poor lady if i can get my controller to cooperate ah we'll do it the old-fashioned way come on got her all right, so I don't know why that took so long, but again, my sensitivity is a little useless. No! I was trying not to get 
alarms to go off, so that's a pain in my backside. Headshot. You can actually destroy the cameras. Nope. Problem with destroying the cameras is it takes a not too sensitive controller. There we go. But anyway, this is, uh, I know I'm going at a super slow pace right now, uh, but I don't really have a choice because, oh, I need to get the proximity mines to be able to do that. Is that one of my objectives though? Hold on a second. Because I do actually have, okay, deactivate communications dish. Well, I can do that one of two ways. I can either blow it up or I could come up here and I can do that. I think that powers down the communication dish, I think. I cannot remember. It's been a long time since I've actually actively played this game, guys, so you'll have to excuse me. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to blow it up, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow it up. There are timed, I believe they're timed mines in one of these buildings. I think it's this one over here. And the file cabinets also have to be destroyed. Yeah, here we go. Got the timed mines. Now we can switch over to the timed mines. And we can. That's obviously not going to work. That one will, though. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make sure it was actually going to work. Because, again, it's been a long time since I've played this game. And, yeah, you'll see little lights like that one right there shining through and stuff. And I am very sorry, but it's just the way this, uh, this not texture pack, but this uh, emulator is going to play this game, unfortunately. So, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately. So, I hope you guys don't mind. It's still going to be a good time. Uh, and we need to blow up that one. And then sometimes, I can't remember, if, let's see, they're not there yet. There's usually a sniper up, a sniper, yeah, there's a sniper up there. So, anyway, actually, this is taking a little bit longer than I expected it to. I might have to break this down into multiple different uh, episodes per, uh, per video, or per, uh, well, yeah, per episode, I guess. Yeah, I forgot about that. There are enemies in here. I just... Yeah. I just gotta remember where they are. You know, I, when I was younger and I first played this game, uh, the zombies scared the crap out of me. And I don't know why, because they're some of the most comically strange zombies you will ever see. And yet... Yeah, I see the lights like that going through. There's not a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately, right now. I mean, I could mess around with the emulator settings, and but I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I'm not exactly... There we go. I'm not exactly worried too awfully much about um, awesome production quality or anything. And you guys don't realize it yet, but there are three of these valves that we have to uh, turn down so that we can get by the last little pillar of steam. Nah, I'm going to wait until I can get closer. Now he knows that I'm here. Luckily, the AI are pretty bad shots, which... Oh, wow. I was just going to say, I can't really say much, but there is an auto-aim in this, unfortunately. Uh, so I can't take full credit for that shot, but you guys know I'm good at playing video games and stuff. You know this. I never die in video games and make shots that I don't intend to make. Quality gameplay. Anyway, no, nah, I'm kidding, of course. I make all kinds of mistakes. Anyway, how you guys doing lately? Uh, you guys ever heard of Time Splitters before? It's a great game. Great set of games. Yeah, see, the auto-aim works when it wants to. And I guess right there it didn't want to. Is that armor? Yeah, that's armor. Why didn't I pick that up? Why can't I pick the armor up? Do I already... Oh, I already have full armor. That's why I can't pick it up. Okay. When did I pick up armor? Not going to be full for much longer if I can't control my shots. 
Also, I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller, and this was meant for like a PlayStation. This was out on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I don't know what other formats it came out on. Maybe it came out on the Xbox. I'm not sure. Um, now that sniper should be over there. No? Not yet? Okay. Maybe that's just in the harder difficulties. I don't know. I know there are a couple of guys around this corner, though. Or guys and a gal. And there's also a camera over here, too, that we definitely want to avoid. Right here. Got it. Usually it just takes one good shot to be able to kill the cameras. That's the place we were at earlier. Basically, we just went up through the dam and came out over here. Uh, let me make sure that sniper's not up there. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I could zoom, too. Anyway, yeah, let's see. We've been going on for only 11 minutes. That's not bad. I want to try and keep these under 20 minutes if I possibly can. Considering the fact that I'm playing on, like, easy difficulty, I'm hoping... That's actually an Easter egg, the Anaconda cart. It's basically Snake, and you can play it on the uh, Temporal Uplink. I don't think there was any real reason to come in here. I know exactly what to do in this level. I've done it plenty of times, especially on easy difficulty. Um, on hard difficulty in the, in the uh, I guess, the spirit of most games of this fashion, um, like, you know, with GoldenEye as well, um, just in case, I got plenty of them. Uh, there are increasing things that you're supposed to do. Did that seriously not blow up either one of those? Hold on a second. That's crap. I want that one. There we go. Will that work this time? I don't even know if this is one of my active objectives. There we go. Two file cabinets remaining. That's... Yeah. Anyway, I don't even know if that's one of my active objectives. Like, I don't know if I can... Nope. Yeah. Yay for auto-aim. Because my sensitivity is all kinds of... N no. My sensitivity is just weird. I could probably adjust it and get better uh, sensitivity and stuff. There's a turret up there that screws with me when... Terminal and operative. I have to go restore the power for... Oh yeah, that's on a different difficulty. All we have to do is get down there and get the time crystal. That's all we have to do. On hard difficulty, there's a lot of other stuff that we have to do. See that? Zombies in 2000... When did this game come out? And they're not easy either. They're actually quite hard to beat. I don't know why they're not paying attention to me, though. They should be paying attention to me. The time Crystal's down here. There are the two guys from earlier. Pretty sure the easiest or best or whatever way to destroy... Uh, to kill the zombies is just to, like, blow their head off, basically. There we go. Yep. And that's all we have to do. That's how easy easy is, of course. Yay! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Time Splitters 2. If you did, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And I appreciate you guys all tuning in. And I will continue to try and update this series depending upon the response to this. I may do it anyway. I don't know. Um, but in the next episode, we will be going to Notre Dame. Or no, Chicago. We'll be going to Chicago in 1932 next. That was the Siberian Dam or Siberia in 1990 right here. The next place we're going to is 1932 Chicago, the land of the real gangsters, mind you. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. I appreciate it. If you did, make sure to tap the like button. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. If you didn't, tap the dislike button on one condition. You got to tell me why in the comments. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys, and I hope to see you guys for the next episode of Time Splitters 2, where we go to Chicago. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.